Despite being the world's largest oil producer, Saudi Arabia is looking to the skies to meet its energy needs. We're going to look at what those plans entail on today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence, joined here by Bern de Boosman. Burns, uh, massive plans announced last week uh, by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on his trip to the States. Tell us what they were. So what he announced was that Saudi Arabia would be teaming up with Japan's SoftBank Group to build a $200 billion solar energy project. Now, to give a uh, kind of a scope of how big this is, it's 100 times larger than what's available today. And if they put it all in one spot, it would be the area would take up twice the area of Hong Kong. So this is really quite a very substantial, very substantial project. Okay, that's massive, that's massive. And big numbers financially, of course. Um, what does this mean for their, their oil business? Well, the thing is, in 10 years, domestic energy demand will will take about 8.3 million barrels each year. Mm. And that'll, that'll eat up most of Saudi Arabia's oil reserves. So the idea is that if they can power their own domestic energy needs through solar power, that leaves the oil for export, which in the end is better for the Saudi economy. Mm. Also, solar power is just cheaper. Um, so that's one thing. And then... Of course, I mean, they'll be producing more power than they need between the two things. So they'll also be able to export power to other countries in the region, which is yeah. quite significant. Okay. And of course, Crown Prince Mohammed uh, bin Salman wants to diverse away from, diversify away from oil anyway. Uh, but it's not just that, is it? There's geopolitical uh, plays involved in this as well. There are a lot of experts that have pointed out that, for example, Iran and Qatar, countries that don't have good relations with Saudi Arabia, they have gas reserves that Saudi Arabia doesn't have at the mm. moment. So... This, in addition to diversifying the Saudi economy, this is kind of a way to make sure that they stay relevant kind of on a, in a geopolitical sense and, and still have the same weight and power that they do today. Okay, okay. So what are the concerns around something that's so big and so, so new? Well, the thing is, you know, with such a large project, it's not just the solar energy panels. There has to be power, um, for the technology to harness the power that will have to install for uh, large-scale batteries, um, you know, facilities, and that's going to require a huge investment in and of itself. Uh, but th the Saudis say that they, you know, now that they have the will and the resources, they think it's very doable. They have the space and all the raw materials they need to do this currently, so they're very confident about them. Okay, okay. So it's a good time to be in batteries then? It is, and it's all solar uh, panels. Okay, okay, you heard it here first. All right, you've been watching uh, Inside AB. Please do comment, subscribe to our channels, and we'll see you next time. We're online every weekday at 10 a.m. Thanks and goodbye.